from the top. Okay. Drop that. Uh, yeah. Feel the funk, y'all. Yeah. Feel the funk, y'all. Yeah. You lay back in the cut. What's up? What's up? From Alpha to Omega, VHS to Beta, PlayStation to Sega, my skill is still greater. The sickest thing since BD, wicked like VG. With my life crooked like the left finger on ET. Please believe me, this be the realest thing I ever wrote. Right after talking to Pac, puffing on heavy smoke. Laugh now, cry later. My only dream in life was the rock of my God. What's up, bro? Good, G. Thank you so much for coming to New York, bro. Thank you for spending this time with me. Bro, I have to, I have to. Oh. So how did you start photography? What got you into it, dog? For me, it was like my friends. Just like hanging out with them when they're doing their thing. It was just like, it was cool to see that, the, like watching their creative process and like never having like that kind of outlet for myself. And then like finding myself through like following them and seeing what they do and then building my own. That was like, that was, that was what drew me to it. But I want to know what you got started, how you got started. Dude, I started right before the Instagram photographers were a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like um, when we first got into it, it was just a matter of community. We wanted to build with one another. We wanted to learn from one another. Mm -hmm. And so I just met up with a, a couple of people from Instagram. And like we all had like 2,000 followers, 1,000 followers. Yeah. We would just go out there and just mob the streets. Yeah. We started this thing called Puddle Grand Photography. Yeah. In which you took, it was just iPhone only at the time. So it wasn't even real cameras. And we just like, you know, we played around, we like flipped our phones, put them next to puddles, and yeah. just created puddle gram photography. And like, that was my first thing. Yeah. Um, but then after that, we started doing, you know, more cities and scapes and all that, mm -hmm. a lot of visco cam edits, like mm -hmm. straight off the phone. But we learned from one another. So it was all community building. Yeah. Uh, and then right after that, I started a brand with my best friend mm -hmm. called Hercules New York. And I bought myself a cheap camera. I started with a Nikon D80. Okay. Um, and to shoot the clothing, and then I shot it, and then I realized, like, you know, this 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 fashion thing is cool, but it's not it's not for me. It's not yeah. me. Uh, and then um, I kept shooting, uh, and then I started shooting people uh, in my conservatory because I went to music school. Okay. And uh, started doing headshots for like fifty bucks. I would just tell everybody, like, yo, I need portfolio. Like, yeah. Let's you know, let's get it. Uh, and then. Um, Right after that, I started working with my friend, Friendy Lamour, who at that time was like this big Soho uh, Soho blogger. Okay. And and he started introducing me to all these brands. And okay. my first gig with Levitation came from a Stutterheim shoot. So Stutterheim jackets, uh, it was this uh, this raincoat jacket. And they just told us, like, listen, just elevate the brand. Mm -hmm. Like, and just photographs, just like elevate the brand. And that kind of told me, like, okay, like, maybe I can just have Friendy jumping. Yeah. So Friendy jumped, and then after that, I started making everybody jump, and then it, it, you know, it, it transcended into to hand levitation, and yeah. then to offhand, like just product levitation. Uh -huh. So that's where we're here today. But yeah, man. So like, it all started with this twenty-four millimeter right here, and this five uh, D Mark II. This used to be my first, was my first camera. Yeah. I still hold it dearly. It's my baby. It's, it's fucking destroyed. That's crazy. But this is my yeah. So that's what that's what made my career. This is what this is how it all started. That's right? how it all started, yeah. bro. Uh, and right now I'm shooting with a A7R2 right here and 1635. Okay. This is my go-to yeah. uh, lens right now. Uh, a lot more megapixels. Uh, yeah. A lot clearer. Uh, and you know this is my pocket camera, A7 uh, RX100. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did. No, yeah, you got it all right now. That's crazy. It's crazy to see that like where you came from just Dude. like how everything progressed like you didn't start with the nicest gear or Dude, like this the is what i tell vision. people get yourself a cheap camera that does the job and yeah. then everything will take care of the rest i feel like you need to learn with the cheapest first so yeah. you can maximize everything out of the camera mm -hmm. because you don't want to be able to rely on your camera or on the equipment to create a good photograph you want yeah. to rely on yourself yeah and so if you're starting photography i would even recommend like every time you have a chance just shoot with your iphone alone mm -hmm. it would help you fix uh your your compositions it will mm -hmm. help you tell that you know, practice your storytelling yeah uh, and it will help you kind of visualize things that when you apply to your camera you're going to be able to elevate that yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So how did you start your basketball career and like what made you decide? How do you want to incorporate photography in your basketball career? Okay. For me, yeah, basketball has always just been like, so here, put into perspective. So like people always ask like, do I have a favorite player that like I emulated my game after and stuff like that. But like that goes back to like when I first started playing, it was like, you know, when you start and you're not great at something, it's hard for you to see, like, what it could become. So I never thought I'd be good enough to be, like, those Kevin Durant, so, like, any of those players, so, like, the Michael Jordan. So, like, I just kind of did my thing, 
and then figured out what worked for me. And then from that, just like built like what, what has become like my style of playing, like what's brought me my success. And then like, so through that, it's like basketball became like this like somewhat creative thing, although it's like it's a different form because it's a physical thing as opposed to like you're creating an image or a piece of art. Like I'm out there performing something in a sense. Mm -hmm. And like for me, photography has been like another creative outlet. And for me to be able to express myself in those different ways, because you can only, I basketball, you can only go so hard or play so long before you just get like tired. And, then to, and, like, if you're thinking about the same things in the same way, it's hard for you to, like, expand your your breadth of what you can do creatively. Like, you creatively. know what's so cool, dude? It's that um, I feel like we are in a generation right now where we've learned through the Pharrell Williams, through the Kanye West, through yeah. the Jay-Z's of the world, you not only could be good at one thing, bro. Yeah. You can be incredible in many different outlets. And yeah. I think that that's super cool. And I'm so glad that you're exploring with this because I feel like if you're really passionate about this, you don't need to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if you take it with a passion mm -hmm. and not with the seriousness of like, oh, I got to make money out of this or I got to do something out of this as opposed to just challenging yourself, which I think that you're trying to do. Yeah. I think that that's purely where that essence of like passion comes from and yeah. where it will lead you. And I think it's going to lead you to great things. Yeah, man. no, for sure. That's I think that's like where a lot of that growth comes from. Because yeah. like, I mean, look where you are now. I mean, I feel like coming into Dude, it, taking pictures of puddles. I didn't puddles. think I was, like, was going to be yeah. a photographer, man. I started as an opera singer. I came here from Ecuador when I was uh, eight yeah. to pursue music. Wow. I went, I sang from eight all the way to 20 professionally, like VMA, like Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, wow. you know, like backup dancer for TI, VMA, Good. like all these things. And I was like so sure I was going to be a singer, but yeah. then photography kind of showed me an outlet. You yeah. know what? There's less politics in this. You yeah. know what? You don't need to go through the bullshit. If you're good at this, regardless of whether you shot with a $50 camera or a $50,000 camera, yeah. a good image is a good image. And to me, that the honesty of photography and the honesty mm -hmm. of telling a real picture without Photoshop yeah. is what really draws me into it because it's a very honest art. You can yeah. see through the bullshit. Yeah. You know, and I think that exploring that is just something that has, has, has pushed me as a person even yeah. uh, further uh, to explore myself and just explore how much I can, how further I can go mm -hmm. in my art. Um, you know, like, I think that even you, it, in order for you to even get to the NBA, you have to be competitive mm -hmm. and you have to have a drive and you have to have this fire in you. Yeah. And I think that that fire just carries through every, you know, if you're a go-getter, regardless of what you do, you want to be able to push your art forward. Yeah. And I think that you're trying to push basketball forward. I'm yeah. trying to push photography forward. Yeah. And, and, it's, and that education is just, you know, it's, it's, it's dope how we see and, and apply that into the no, for sure. Tour forms, man. For sure. Dude, I can't wait to, to shoot with you. Yeah, bro. no, yeah, let's get this thing started. Let's fucking kill it. Let's dog. get it started. <laughs> let's yep. go. Matisse, Matisse, Joel. Hey, what's up, bro? It's nice to meet you. Yeah, today we're gonna show, uh, show uh, Matisse a bunch of architecture slash dance levitation photography. Uh, we're gonna play around with uh, a couple of backflips. Joel is like the king of this shed. Yep. Super dope at it. We've been working on a couple of projects on it his way back. Um, so we're gonna uh, incorporate a lot of the architecture here. We're gonna incorporate a little bit of the city over there. Uh, and let's see what we get. If you have any yep. questions, just ask me and yeah. let's fucking get it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, bro, so I found the angle right now. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have Joel uh, do a couple of backflips from, from here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I looked it down, and if you look down with me, yeah. you're going to be able to tell it's just the sky, yeah. the blue sky, the clouds, and then this architecture right here. Clock on when I made a name for myself. I can't lie, I'm doing well for my age. My dogs are the praying on my downfall. Well, they just choose in the casket, now they souls in the grave. You know what? You can come up closer a little bit. Come Close this way. Uh -huh, and then that way. Yeah, and then you can face that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you like jump right above the uh, Empire State Building. Yep. Yeah. Uh, whatever you're ready. Uh, uh, face that way even more, like face the city. Yep. Yeah. 
this is good? Talk gone red, I made a name for myself I can't lie, I'm doing well for my age My dogs said they're praying on my downfall Well, they just choose in the casket Now they souls in the grave Super simple, super yeah. straightforward And like we got it That is... <laughs> oh my god That's it Oh my god, thank you so much for joining me today in, uh, in this adventure. I had so much fun with you, bro. Sure. You have an incredible eye, you really do, dog. You put thank in that work. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Doing your thing. That's been great. That's it's good, been great, bro. yeah. Appreciate you.